So I was diagnosed with breast cancer uh, at 31. And I think, especially as a young woman, um, the first thought that came to mind was, I don't want to lose my hair. At the time that I was diagnosed, I actually was on disability um, from an injury that I had had. And um, just starting to interview for an executive position in Idaho with that diagnosis. So within two weeks, I realized if I did not keep my hair, I would never get another job. The thought of losing my hair was really devastating. Mostly, I was concerned about losing who I was. I was prepared to lose parts of my body due to cancer and, and understood that the side effects would be very difficult, but this was one that I did not want to have happen. With scalp cooling, what I find is that, you know, when a person is told that they're going to lose their hair, it's not only their hair that they're going to lose. They're going to lose their privacy. They're going to lose control of the situation. They're going to lose their sense of identity. And they're even going to lose a sense of well-being because they're going to look in the mirror and they're not going to see themselves. It's not just a vanity issue. It's about privacy and not being stopped out in public and caught off guard by people that just want to talk to you about your cancer and feel sorry for you. And I knew that I didn't want people looking at me in a certain way that might make me burst into tears. All throughout the chemo, I was sick as a dog. I felt like I got hit by a bus, but I didn't look like it. I lost the hair on my face, on my body, but honey, this hair was here to stay. And I thank you to stay for that because you know what? People didn't know that I had cancer. No one knew I was able to maintain a certain amount of dignity. The worry of my children was enormous through all of this. My six-year-old mostly was very curious and um, also completely understanding and caring. And he kept re reminding me, but mom, you've still got your hair. You've still got your hair when I would be having really hard days. From my perspective, uh, it was not okay to have an infusion center where one woman was sitting next to another woman and one got to save her hair because she had the financial means and the other didn't. And that's when I began to look for a way to try and level the playing field. The financial aid for us was a huge blessing and, and something that we wouldn't have been able to probably mm -mm. do without. So. Um, it was a key thing in our lives and made a big difference and on our wedding day. The fact that A, they're a resource and they're financing this new development for, to keep your hair is, is huge, but the fact that they're there for you as a support system and the first question is, you know, how are you doing? How are you handling this? Are you doing okay? We're here tonight because the Hector Estrada Salon, Hector Estrada himself uh, and his partner Donna, came to us with this idea and said, you know, um, we're interested in this cause. We understand what it means for people to be able to save their hair during such a difficult time in their lives. And they suggested that we do this fashion show uh, to raise funds for Hair to Stay. The reason I short like Hair to Stay because um, uh, hair is very important for people and especially when they're going through to chemo. Uh, they don't want to lose the hair because it's very like painful feeling and I know that feeling because I went through to my mother. We need to increase the awareness about scalp cooling so that people have the option and we need to create access for those patients who otherwise couldn't afford it. And for every person who can contribute to this effort, it, it adds up. It really doesn't take a lot to transform a patient's cancer journey. It just seems like such a small thing that we can help people save their hair, and it's not a small thing. It's a huge thing, and it doesn't take that much to make it happen. Sometimes I feel like it can be the difference between dying of cancer and surviving. Um, and I'm definitely still here because I got to keep my hair. <laughs>